All right, today we're going to talk about basic perspective drawing. If you've never done a, a perspective drawing before, this will introduce you to the techniques. Now I'm going to be doing a vector drawing, but if you prefer manual drawing on paper, these techniques will work just as well. As you can see, I'm not showing my toolbars because this is not intended to be specific to any one uh, vector drawing program. So let's get into it. All vector drawings have a horizon line. The horizon line, as you may imagine, represents an imaginary horizon in our finished drawing. So if I were at the beach and looking out at the ocean, where the ocean meets the sky, that would be the horizon. Now when a boat sails to the horizon, it disappears once it's past the horizon. And if I put a point on the horizon, that'll be a vanishing point. That's the point at which the boat would disappear from view. And that's the point at which all the lines in my drawing would disappear from view if they extended that far. I want to put a, another vanishing point on this side. This is going to be a two-point perspective drawing, and that's what most of your perspective is going to be. You can do a one, two, or a three-point perspective drawing, but the majority of them are going to be two points. I want to bring another guideline down, and I want to adjust the fulcrum of this guideline right onto the vanishing point. So now, when I rotate it, it will rotate around that point. I'm going to do that with this one too. And this fulcrum goes on to that vanishing point. Alright, now to keep it simple, we're just going to draw a box. And I'm going to begin with the bottom of the box. So. I'm going to do this as my leading edge. And there's my box that I want to draw. This is just the bottom of the box. Now I'm using thicker lines than I normally do. So you can see it on the video. So I'm going to establish this leading edge here. Just like that. Now you can see if these lines were to be extended all the way to the horizon, they'd all converge on the vanishing point. So that's my leading edge of my bottom of the box. I'll come up here now to that corner, come up here to this corner. I'm just eyeballing this. If I were doing this for a customer or something, I would zoom in and make sure I'm getting it just right, and that's what you might want to do when you do it. but. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it from out here. So, now that's the bottom of my box. And now I'm going to do the top. And I'm going to do the top by just copying the bottom, pasting it, and bringing it up to about here. I don't want to make it too tall because for now I want to keep this below the horizon line. Now the bottom and the top can't be the same because the perspective is going to be different. So let's form a new leading edge here. And this being a two point perspective, all the vertical lines are going to be straight up and down. If this were a three-point perspective, we'd have another vanishing point, either on top or bottom. But this is two points, so all the lines are going to be parallel. So I just want to bring this straight down to here and establish my leading edge. Then I'll bring my guides up to my new corners here.
and that will establish my trailing edge. So I should be able to drop this straight down to the crosshairs of my guides. And I can do it. So that means I drew it properly. And now I have a top and a bottom, and I'll need the sides. So I won't need my guides anymore. To form the right side, I'm going to copy the bottom and paste it. And then I'll just bring this straight up, making sure I keep the line vertical. And I'll bring this straight up to here. And since it's a vector drawing, I can use my align nodes command to make sure that those are directly vertical. And now to form the right side, I'm going to copy and paste it, and I'm just going to mirror it like that. Now, this isn't a square box, so the right side and the left side are going to be different. So since I know these two nodes are vertical, I'll move them both at once, like that make sure that I keep them vertical. And now I'll just bring this up to that corner. Once again I'm eyeballing this so it's not perfect. And then I'll put one more line right in that back corner from here to here. Now that's a clear box, a box made out of acrylic or something. Perspectively accurate, all lines converge at the vanishing points. And now I'll give these each a fill, make it yellow. an empty box. Cardboard box, maybe. And let's say I don't want an empty box. I want a closed box. So I just bring my uh, top of the box up to the front, and now it's a closed box. Now, all of my box is below the horizon line. But you don't have to draw it that way. If I want to, I can make some of it above the horizon line and some of it below. So if I'm going to do that, I don't need the top because I'll be looking up at it, not down on it. Because when it's a completely below the horizon line, it's as though we're above the box looking down upon it. But I don't need the bottom and I don't need the top anymore. I just need two sides. So to get this above the horizon, I'm going to copy, or excuse me, I'm going to grab hold of these two nodes, bring it straight up as high as I feel like, but I'll keep it in the frame. And I'll do that with this side too. Now, some of you who may be familiar with perspective at this point may be saying there's a lot more to it than this and you'd be right there is more to it than this but we're just learning the basics here and uh, I do have another video that will show us how to draw perspective drawings from a floor plan but for now we're just gonna learn the basics of perspective so now I'll get my guides and I'll put them up here now the lines point down toward the vanishing point because it's above the horizon. But no matter where they are, they point to the vanishing point. So I'm just going to bring this straight down to my guide here. And then if we bring this straight down to my guide. Again, if I zoomed in, I could get this more accurate, but for the purpose.
purpose of the video, this is going to be fine. Okay, and now we have our box. And now it's a taller box. And the bottom is below the horizon line, and the top is above the horizon line. So we're looking down at the bottom and up at the top. So that's the way you lay out a basic perspective drawing. I recommend you practice with this. Draw different kinds of boxes, tall ones, short ones, open boxes, closed boxes, until you're comfortable with the techniques. And that's the way it's done. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, check out Vector Drawing 101. It's designed to simulate a community college course that you might take will take you step by step through the basics of vector drawing. It's divided up into 13 separate classes, each one covering a specific point of vector drawing. These are on MP4 for viewing on a computer, and you can check it out at this website, bit.ly slash nwvector, and I'll put a link for this website in the comments below. Thanks for watching.